Okay, let's go ahead and divide these rational expressions here. So we have 2x over 3x minus 12, and we're going to divide it by x squared minus 2x over x squared minus 6x plus 8. So all this nice algebra stuff, well, I tell you, this is going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully you're as excited as I am to tackle this problem. And some of you out there must be like, oh boy, this guy, he must have no life because he just loves math too much. But uh, you know what? Listen, uh, if you hate math, okay, if you're like, you know, angry at math, you're like, mm, I hate math or math is so boring or like, you know, well, listen, that's going to, that's like a mental block, you know, uh, to doing math. Now, if you got to learn the topic, you know, let's try to relax about it and be like, yeah, all right, all right, I'll warm up to math at least, you know, put a happy face on and, uh, you know, and I think a lot of times people don't like a subject, you know, and I understand this as well if you're not doing well in a subject. So if you're not doing well in algebra, just relax, stick with me. I'm gonna teach you how to do this particular problem. And I will give you some suggestions on how to improve in mathematics. That's the whole idea behind my YouTube channel is to get you to be excited um, you know, and successful in learning mathematics. But that's a process. That's you know something that if you're struggling in math, you know, we're going to have to kind of correct one step at a time. But you can definitely be nice and happy about this stuff. It's just, you know, again, you know, don't get yourself overwhelmed, all right? So if this stuff looks intimidating to you, just relax. I'm going to teach you how to solve this particular problem in just one second. But let me first quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. And you guessed it, I am also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main courses like uh, Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Geometry, Pre-Algebra, College Algebra. We're going to be launching my pre-calculus course here soon. But all my courses are extremely comprehensive. I don't have any little quick tutorials uh, little short little videos in there. I have like, you know, comprehensive, you know, really in-depth uh, lessons, and I teach you how to solve thousands of problems. So that's why all my courses literally take me years to build. But, you know, when I launch them and people use them, they, you know, generally look like this. They're appreciative because I give them the, all the information they need to be successful in mathematics. So if you're looking for assistance in math, then you definitely want to check out my math help program. Now, um, a lot of my courses are test preparation courses, like uh, for those of you that are studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, ASVAB, teacher certification, nursing entrance, AccuPlacer, Alex, um, you name it. There's a lot of courses out there that people take, or, or there's a lot of reasons people study math outside of taking a course. Let me just say that much, okay? So a lot of these critical tests in people's lives has, you know, there's a lot of math uh, on various type of exams and people have to go back and review, you know, like high school level math, then you want to definitely want to check out my uh, custom built uh, test prep courses. I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. So if that is you, you'll uh, want to check out my homeschool uh, system. And then obviously I help those of you that are struggling in a course like Algebra 2, Algebra 1, College Algebra, whatever that might be, and you want additional support and instruction outside of your classroom, definitely want to check out my program. Now, one thing you need to be doing for yourself, if you're a math student, I assume that you are, if you're watching this video, is you got to be taking fantastic math notes. Now, notice I didn't say good math notes or like okay math notes. I'm talking about great math notes. So if you can take great math notes, you'll almost always end up looking like this person at the end of the year when you get your final math grade. I call it my golden rule of math. I've just seen this over decades of teaching a subject. Those students who take the best uh, math notes, take great math notes, you know, generally do outstanding in math. And the reverse is true. Those students who don't take math notes, who take sloppy math notes, or maybe they are best friends, you know, in the class with them, and they take their notes for them, and then they copy their notes later, or they like looking at their cell phone, you know, during class. Listen, I get it. I was a student uh, many, many years ago, and if there were smartphones around when I was going to school, I would only even think I would have uh, graduated because I mean, they're completely distracting. I get it. Uh, but if you want to be successful in anything, okay, any academic subject or anything in life, you got to learn how to focus. Okay. If you're engaged and if you're like, all right, I am going to concentrate on taking fantastic notes, that activity is just going to help, help you get that information in your brain. It's going to just 
you know, help you learn on so many different levels. Just trust me on this one. Focus on your note-taking, okay? But as you're improving in your note-taking, you need something to study from. So I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get to the problem here. And uh, I said that we're going to be dividing, okay? And I use the term rational expressions. So what is a rational expression? Let me just kind of write this out real quick. Rational uh, expression, I'll abbreviate. Okay, well, anytime in mathematics you see this word rational, not rat, rational, okay, or actually, let me just write this whole thing out. Rational, okay, now I'm kind of a little bit simplifying here. But basically think of fractions, okay? A rational number is a number that can be expressed as a fraction. I'm speaking fairly loosely here, but be thinking fractions, okay? So we don't call uh, this, you know, uh, divide the um, fractions, okay? All the, these are fractions. The technical um, description of this would be a rational expression. So just, you know got to know the terminology when you're talking about uh, algebra problems, right? So we're going to be dividing, obviously this is a division problem, rational expression. So uh, you want to be thinking like fractions. You're rational, you want to be thinking fractions. So you got to understand fractions. In order to do this problem, you got to be able to work with just regular old arithmetic, uh, you know, fractions. So if you're struggling with fractions, don't panic. I have tons of videos on fractions in my pre-algebra playlist on my channel. You can go back and quickly review. But if you don't know how to deal with fractions, you're not going to be able to uh, handle this problem. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you need to know how to factor. Okay, this is critically important. If you cannot factor in algebra, you uh, it will be impossible for you to have a happy face at the end of your course. Okay, I'm just telling you right now, you got to know how to factor. A lot of people kind of struggle with it. Um, and you know, it's, uh, so don't feel like, you know, you're alone if you're like, oh, I struggle with factoring. A lot of students do. I have tons of videos on that. Of course, if you really want to master all this, you want to check out like my algebra course and whatnot, uh, yeah, for complete instruction on it. But we're going to need to know how to factor. Okay. We need to know that we're dealing with fractional concepts here. So we're going to have to know fractions and, uh, you know, with those two kind of combinations of skill sets, then we'll be able to handle this pretty nicely. So let's get to the solution now. Okay, so kind of wrote this all out for us. So here is the problem. Okay, so we have 2x over 3x uh, minus 12 divided by x squared minus 2x over x squared minus 6x plus 8. Now, I will say there's a couple different paths you can take to get to the same destination. So in math, you can start here and end here, and you can go this way, you can go this way, you can go this way. So if your steps are a little bit different, uh, it's okay, as long as you end up at the final, final place, the final destination, which is the right answer, okay? So uh, if you did this prom, you're like, okay, let me see how you did it. Don't, um, you know, if you did it a little bit differently, that's fine, as long as your answer is uh, what I'm gonna show you then that's what really counts. Okay, so first thing I want to review is division of fractions, okay? So if I have, let's take the fraction uh, two-thirds divided by one-fourth, okay? Well, if you recall, when we're dividing fractions, okay, when we're, there's a division of fraction, we don't divide fractions. We take um, this division operator and we turn it into multiplication. So we flip this guy and this becomes multiplication. So this is two thirds times four over one, okay? So that's what we have to do. The, the fraction to the right of the division sign gets flipped and then the operator becomes multiplication. So again, uh, like I was saying in the beginning of this problem, you have to know your fractions, uh, your basic arithmetic. So we are going to do that now. So here is the numerator right, of this particular rational expression or fraction, how you want to think about it. We're going to just flip this guy. This guy goes down into the bottom, and then our trinomial comes up on top, all right? This stays the same over here. All right, so now we're like, okay, we have um, division. It just flipped to uh, multiplication because this um, we flipped over. And then when we div uh, multiply fractions, like two-thirds times one-fifth, well, how do I do that? Well, remember, you multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So, uh, you know, again, if you're a little bit rusty on fractions, 
you know, that's, uh, you know, just a quick review on it. So, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply this guy, 2x times this, and 3x minus 12 times this. Now, what you never want to do in algebra is just start multiplying stuff away or dividing stuff away. Okay, you always want to factor because we're not going to take this 2x and multiply it into this whole trinomial this times this. Just don't be like, okay, I know what to do. I'm going to just start multiplying. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, what you're going to want to do is start factoring. Okay, well, let's go ahead and start tackling this now. And let's start with the easy stuff. So this uh, 3x minus 12 and uh, this x squared minus 2x are the easiest things to factor right now. We'll get to this trinomial here in a second. But hopefully, you can factor out the greatest common factor here, 3 3x minus 12. You see, oh, that's going to be 3 times x minus 4. You know, if you were confused about that, then that's definitely an indication that you need to work on your factoring skills. So here, we have x squared minus 2x. We can factor out x here. So that's going to be x times x minus 2. So again, if you're, you know, like mm, a little bit like shaky on this, you know, uh, you got to go back and do some significant review on factoring. Now, if you're able to do these, uh, like this was like no problem, no sweat, then you're like, hey, give yourself a little A plus and a star right now because you're definitely on the right track. OK. All right. Now, here is the big guy that we're going to have to deal with. And this is that this is a trinomial. OK, so I have. Tons of videos on how to factor trinomials. Of course, you can just jump into my algebra class and learn all this. But um, here, this x squared minus 6x plus 8. Hopefully, you know how to factor this into these two binomials. Okay, so this is kind of like the the main question here, or the main skill that I would I would probably say many of you might struggle with. If you're like, oh, I don't know how to do this to this. If you know how to factor this trinomial, you could see that the factors of x squared minus 6x plus 8, or uh, x minus 2 and x minus 4, that's fantastic, okay? That means that you have been uh, keeping up on me uh, with YouTube, my YouTube videos, watching my stuff, or, you know, you got a great teacher and you've been working hard and you got fantastic notes, but uh, that's good. Okay, now this is a pretty easy trinomial. If you had another number in front of it, like a 5 or a 7, then, you know, that's, you know, more challenging, but this is a pretty direct simple uh, trinomial to be able to factor okay if again if you're struggling with all this stuff uh, factoring check out some of my uh, videos on factoring on my channel under my algebra playlist okay so now we have oops oops whoops whoops let me kind of uh, scroll up here so now we've determined this x squared uh, minus 6x plus 8 factors like this so I can just replace this numerator with its factors. So now we want to look at the entire problem with its factors. Okay, now we can uh, multiply. Okay, but when we multiply, really what we're going to do is just put, the, put this under one big fraction bar, if you will. Okay, so when I multiply across, all right, this is going to be 2x times x minus 2 times x minus 4. So I can write that like this. And then 3 times x minus 4 times x times x minus 2. I can write this like this. And at this point, you can see our answer is going to be two-thirds because look what happens. We can start, um, we have all these like factors that we can cross-cancel. Let's start with x minus 2. Okay, I have an x minus 2. So, okay, 1 to 1. Okay, this factor can cross-cancel this factor. x minus 4 can cross-cancel that x minus 4. I have this lonely x there and that lonely x there. They cross-cancel each other. And I'm left with two-thirds. That's it. Okay, you're like, wow, all that work and all we get out of it is two-thirds. Yes, that's all that came out of it. But if you were able to do this problem, okay, and you kind of challenge yourself, you pause the video with it, then definitely give yourself a big smiley face with a mohawk and an A plus and a 105% because you are awesome. You're definitely doing uh, pretty well with dividing rational expressions. Now, again, I would say this is an e uh, easy to medium level problem, but uh, if you understand the principles of it, that's fantastic. Again, where I think where most students are going to get, um, you know, uh, run into some barriers, if you will, is in their factoring skills, okay? So you got to practice your factoring. You simply just got to be 
like awesome at factoring. Okay, that's critical to your success in algebra, right? I've done many videos uh, stressing that. But, you know, again, you know, in algebra, it's not just one skill that you're going to have to bring to the table with a lot of these problems. It's multiple different skills. That's why math builds upon itself, okay? And if you, you know, have a bad test or if you, you know, struggle on a particular topic or chapter in your math course, you can't be like, yeah, well, I'll just move on to the next one. You know, it doesn't work that way. Everything is important. Everything builds upon itself. But I'm telling you right now, no matter where you're at, okay, in your math journey, all right, you can correct it and do well. But you got to get on, you got to make some changes, okay? For most of you out there, that would include start taking better notes and then you need additional practice and instruction. So that's where like a program like mine would come into. But yeah, listen, you can definitely take advantage of all the videos on my channel. I've been on YouTube for a long, long time. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos all there for you because I am obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable uh, manner. Uh, listen, math is so stressful so, for so many of you out there. doesn't need to be. Okay, I'm here to tell you that if we work intelligently at it in the right manner over time, you can be very successful in mathematics. So if this video was helpful in some manner, please consider helping me out by smashing that like button and subscribing. Uh, that definitely helps me out. But again, you know, take advantage of my videos on my channel. And if you want my best help, just follow those links in the description of this video. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.